What is up my Arabian homies, it's me your boy Cheeksy's Depressed back again with another crappy video. In today's crappy video we'll be talking about Chris Tyson. Now I'm sure you guys know who Chris Tyson is because there's been like some drama about them but if you guys want to know who they are, basically to sum it up, they're just one of Mr. Beast's uh, closest friends. And they came out being trans. And of course, a lot of people on Twitter lost their goddamn shit and they are just very angry about it because apparently it's wrong and what Chris is doing is very bad, so evil apparently because he has a wife and child. He divorced his wife like months ago. <laughs> like I don't understand why people are losing their shit over Chris wanting to become trans and why they're mad at Mr. Beast for supporting Chris. Like why does it bother you this much? If it really bothers you that some adult wants to alter their gender then you have some issues man I'm just saying. But uh, yeah today we're not be talking about those people because I couldn't be bothered. Today we'll be talking about someone who made a crappy video that was so insensitive that I'm convinced that he just made that just to get some more attention. And the person I'm referring to is Sunny V2. Sunny V2 is a commentary channel that makes documentary videos about certain creators and their dramas and how they, you know, became popular and how they fell off. And he made a video covering the whole Chris Tyson drama. You might think this video is just him, you know, covering the whole drama and saying how it's kind of dumb, but no, instead this dude has the audacity to say that Chris is quote quote ruining Mr. Beast brand for becoming trans. Moving Chris from the videos in any kind of way could create an even more severe media firestorm. The only clean solution, should things go south, might be for Chris to resign himself. I beg your pardon? My brother in Africa, can you please give me whatever the hell you're smoking? Because I want to know what you're puffing over there. Because there is no way in hell that you aren't puffing to reach this dumbass conclusion. Because no sensible human being with a functioning brain cell would reach to this dumbass conclusion. Like, holy shit, dude. This this entire video is just Sunny describing Chris as an asset to Mr. Beast rather than a friend or a human being with emotions. Like my goodness, it just shows how much of a scumbag Sunny is. I mean, he was a scumbag before but this just makes him look fucking stupid. But yeah, today we'll be reacting to this garbage video so uh, grab your snacks, grab your milkshakes, grab your sniper rifles and grab your weird anime body pillows that you have in your basement and let's react to this holy crappy video. Shall we? Mid-2022, fans began to notice that Chris Tyson was changing. In the early days, he represented the quintessential southern gun and truck loving dude. Yet beginning in March 2022, Chris began to display increasingly feminine traits, making tweets such as I finally got my nails done at a nail tech. Dog, what's up with the sinister ass, overdramatic ass, stupid ass background music you chose for this video? Like you're talking about some dumb drama on Twitter, you're not talking about some kind of murder case that happened 12 years ago. If you want to make a video about a murder case, maybe you should make a video about how you murdered my brain cells because holy shit, this video just made me want to just bash my head on the wall like 20 times. Good lord. His Twitter photos kept insinuating that Chris was becoming more feminine, with this same kind of look showing up in his Mr. Beast appearances. For example, on the 6th of January 2023, Beast Reacts uploaded a video titled I Strapped a GoPro to a Fish, in which Chris dressed in a way that prompted comments such as, Chris has been adopting more and more traits that remind me of my grandmother. Okay, so some people just gonna ignore Chris's nails? Chris had to have lost a bet. The look is getting wild. The response to the video then prompted countless viral TikToks, such as this one with 700,000 likes, stating how did Chris go from this to this, while others even made the claim that Carl had turned him gay. <laughs> uh, are you guys that dumb? <laughs> Like, I'm sorry, I know this video is supposed to be me making fun of Sunny V2, but good lord, what is wrong with you guys? You guys don't know how to accept change now, do ya? <laughs> like, my goodness, dude. <laughs> like, I'm so, like, I'm just so sorry, dude, but the reaction to Chris being trans is just so freaking funny to me. Like, I don't understand why people are pissing their pants over it. Uh, it's, like, for fuck's sake, guys, grow up, come on now. It's like 2023 and you're this pissed over someone becoming trans, really? Really? For fuck's sake, get a job. Anyways, <laughs> uh, let's just get back to the video. 
that the true catalyst for Chris Tyson's feminization instead seemed to have come from his marriage. In January 2022, Chris would post a photo with his wife to his Instagram, yet after this, the family photo stopped altogether. Fans also noticed that he'd removed his wedding ring, with the ring's absence correlating perfectly with the very first post in which he'd painted his nails. Chris confirmed the split in a post from March 2023, reading, For a little over a year now, me and Katie have been separated, with this also confirming that Chris's transformation began as soon as his marriage came to an end. Okay, wow. Yikes, dude. Like, I can make a comment here saying how Sunny is being insensitive towards Chris's marriage, but I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'm gonna have my brother, my homie, the dude that fucked my mother 26 times. Fraction of Void. Take the mic away, Void. I never really liked Sunny V2's content. Well, I did, but only for a short time. Watching his videos has the same feeling as me pretending to understand what someone is talking about even though I have no interest whatsoever. Like his videos can be informative but rarely entertaining. Usually when he tries to make a point, it's either decent or it misses completely. In this case, the whole video misses completely, which was like a cultural tradition for Sony V2. The points that are being made here are the equivalent of shooting your bow and arrow and having it somehow hit your neck. I understand that Chris from Mr. Beast is a public figure, but that doesn't mean you're allowed to be weirdly invasive with someone's personal things, such as the relationship of a divorce marriage and most importantly, the reason why they divorce, not only in the Sony V2 video, but a lot of other people also went to assume that Chris divorced his partner because of the transition and that Chris abandoned his child and that, you know, him transitioning will somehow make the child into an abomination. In reality, all of this is false and you could easily find out that Chris still meets up with their child. It doesn't take an 8 hour deep analysis to figure out this public information and honestly, a lot of what people are saying is very cartoony. Like where the fuck did you get this information where Chris abandoned his child and wife? I mean, wife, and that, that might be true, you know, that, that, that's, what, that's what divorce means. What made you think that the divorce was about the transition? Even if it is, why do you care about their marriage? You don't know them personally, know little to nothing about the divorce. They have publicly and clearly said that they don't wish for the reasoning behind the divorce to be revealed. Why can't you respect this decision? Are you a cancer patient? Are you perhaps an individual of the brain that kind? Aside from the invasive stuff, a lot of the points in the video are insensitive like how he's not seeing Chris as a real person but rather as a false representation in media. And if we've learned anything from Hollywood in recent years, it's that adding over the top LGBT characters for the sake of relatability rarely works as intended and is often nothing more than a distraction from the premise of the movie or video. And how selfish that Chris is transitioning and that Chris is oblivious as to how this whole thing will impact Jimmy. Let's start with the first one. Sonny here decided that it would be a logical point and a great idea to compare a real person to a forest representation in TV shows and media. No, I'm sorry bro, I missed the part where this is... I don't even have the words to describe this shit. How do you compare it? Sonny really has a fucked up mindset. The dude's brain wiring is so disjointed that he thinks that every action must be for the brand. I believe the correct term for this is terminally online. Online. But even saying term terminally online makes me cringe because who the fuck uses that term ironically? See, now I'm talking about how a new term on the internet is retarded, but thinking that being friends with a queer person is trauma is more retarded. And so is thinking that a person transitioning is selfish and should take into account their brand and public image for every action they do. Basically, if you're a large figure, you're not allowed to do anything for personal matters and every action should be about the grind. The brand and the analytics. To be fair, what did I expect from a guy that uses hate comments as points? The problem with this sunny guy is that he tries too hard to be neutral but the more he tries, the more biased he becomes with how he tries to make anything seem over dramatic and especially when he was putting over dramatic background music when revealing Chris's new appearance. Sonny is expecting the viewer to jump in their seats and get their socks pulled off. Wow! And to be fair, 
he succeeded in that because I have never seen content this dramatic. The last time I saw content this over dramatic, th that was from Jarman. It's really fucking ironic how these people are the same people who blame everything on cancel culture. And to be honest, while it might be true sometimes, it really starts to lose its meaning once you become angry over an imagination. Also, the same people that scream at dream stands for being invasive with the content creator's private life and digging up people's past to try to cancel them. Then you have the same people doing the exact same thing. What I'm saying is, they are hypocrites. But if I only said that, it will make me sound less smart. And the major problems are the whole assumption about Mr. Brass uh, being uncomfortable when Chris was making jokes or you, you know any type of interaction came about. People were making these assumptions as pure facts. And just like the whole Carl Jacobs thing. Like, and again, it wasn't any different when Dream Stands thought that a content creator was being uncomfortable. Okay, let me give you an example, right? Tommy makes a joke to Tabo. Tabo laughs, but this stands interpret as Tabo be uncomfortable and a crying for help. So this stands will create trauma over it. This is just the same. The big mistake is thinking that content creators will have the mental capacity to be consistently energetic for hours. It looks like a lot of these people lost common sense and now they're projecting their pure retardation onto others. Honestly, the fact that Sonny saw this whole situation and his first reaction was about how much of a problem someone transitioning will be to Mr. Beast says a lot about him. And you know what says a lot about him? Um, AVX. Yeah. Okay, alright, GXC, I'm, I'm a- Alrighty then, thank you Void for your collaboration, I hope you have a good day, now you can go back inside the darkness where you came from. Anyways, uh, let's just uh, watch one final clip and let's just clown on Sunny V2 one last time before I end this video, because goddammit, this is way too long than expected. <laughs> this was put forward in many comments supportive of Chris, who implied that there'll be millions of queer kids who look up to him, although this doesn't necessarily mean that it'll add any value to the videos. Mr. Beast has likely cultivated a massive LG LGBT audience, all of whom are already watching anyway, and if we've learned anything from Hollywood in recent years, it's that adding over the top LGBT characters for the sake of relatability rarely works as intended, and is often nothing more than a distraction from the premise of the movie or video. <laughs> My man really compared a fucking human being to a fictional ca- are you high on meth? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was this video, bro? Like, I know the drama is all the time I'm recording this, but Jesus Christ, Sonny. This was just a shit video, my guy. You compared a human being who is going through something emotional, something that's, you know, about themselves and their body, and try to make it out as if, like, what they're doing is gonna damage Mr. Beast's business brand and that... Uh, by doing this, it's gonna seem forced because Hollywood always forces LGBTQ themes and characters down to people's pro Are you- did you think before writing the script of this video or did you have a dumbass AI write this? Cause Jesus Christ man, this is just not it. This is just you being a dumbass. Which isn't gonna be the first time, but come on dude. <laughs> Like, honestly, I don't know what else to say except for this video is kind of garbage and uh, Sunny V2 common L, am I right, guys? But yeah, that's all for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And yeah, if you did, make sure you click like. And uh, if you're a new viewer here and you also enjoyed this video, then please subscribe. And uh, before I end this uh, garbage video, I just want to say that you should subscribe to Factional Void or else I will delete you from this galaxy. And I'm holding a Q&A uh, which is gonna be released later this, uh, like next week maybe, I don't know when. But yeah, if you have any questions you want to ask me, then go to my community tab and ask me any type of questions. Or you can be a lazy fuck and ask me in the pinned comments, but... Yeah, it's really up to you guys. So, yeah. <laughs> Hope you guys have a good day, night, whatever time it is in your time zone. And I'll see you guys next time. See you!